Oh, Serenica, blessed ancestor, the time has come at last for us to fulfill our destiny. We're going to use the orbs to take the luminary up to the world tree, and he's going to awaken the power that will banish the darkness. We've never been up to Yggdrasil before, so we don't know what's up there waiting for us. But no matter what happens, I swear I won't let the Luminary come to harm. He's our light and our hope, and he'll rid our world of darkness. I know he will! Serenica, Sage of Legend, lend me your power! Help me fulfill my duty and protect the Luminary! <gasps> Oi! What are you doing here? Wait, you weren't listening, were you? What do you think you're up to, waltzing in here with that great ugly thing strapped to your back anyway? And where in the world have you been? Benedictus was talking to us all, and you just upped and disappeared without so much as a by your leave. What were you thinking? Hmm? What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Stop staring at me like that, will you? You look like you've seen a ghost. We've got important things to be getting on with. The last thing we need is you acting like a big weirdo. So come on, pull yourself together. There you are! We couldn't find you anywhere! Oh, we were so worried about you! Well, don't look so surprised to see us. We've been right here all along, you know. Uh, what's with that sword? You're supposed to be the good guy, remember? Huh, well, whatever floats your boat. Anyway, time to get this show on the road. Father Benedictus says we're to take the orbs and offer them up to the altar at the top of the mountain. We need to go through those doors and follow the path through the first forest, apparently. Shall we get going? Aye. Not long now till we get up to the world tree at long last and finally find out how to get rid of that rotten Mordigan. Let's away! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright eyed and bushy tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? be going up to Yggdrasil tomorrow. I can't help feeling a little nervous. Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from? Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? Veronica? Hmm? We were born at the same time. So our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll... fall at the same time, too? Hmm, I don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> but I hope they do. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. Ah, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we? of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Hmm.
that this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's strange. I feel like I've been here before. I know what you mean. It's weirdly familiar. Well, it is the source of all life. I guess that makes sense. Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. Aye, and so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The Sword of Light. Now, laddie. It's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Hmm. Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? Find you? <laughs> did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? <laughs> what was that? Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> My powers... repelled... but... how? Wait... That sword. Very impressive. But it will take more than a showy new weapon to defeat me. Come, Luminary. All of you. Prepare for the end. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. Oh yeah. 
fabulous, darling. Oh, goody. What do we have here? What has Jasper led us into? What happened here? Your pal showed his true colors. That's what happened. He's no servant of Heliodor. He sold his soul to the forces of evil. <gasps> the Luminary is not your enemy. It was Jasper all along. Curse you. So this is how you repay your king? With treachery? <laughs> Master! Help! Me. <laughs> Faithless cur! You would dare to betray me? Betray your kingdom? Death is more than you deserve. <laughs> I am grateful to you, Hendrik. If you had not brought me here, I may never have learned the truth. If not for your intervention, who knows how long it might have continued? Who knows how much damage might have been wrought? <sighs> I was merely doing my duty, sire. I only wish he had been unmasked sooner. It seems I owe you an apology. I have visited a grave injustice upon you. It was Jasper who spoke of the Dark Spawn, who poisoned me against you. I see now that all this was merely part of his wicked scheme. Father. <laughs> oh, uh, Jade! My beloved daughter. How is it that I did not see you there? Today is a day of surprises indeed. <laughs> Come, let me look at you. <laughs> you have suffered greatly, Lord Robert. The fall of Dundrasil and all that has happened since were tragic events indeed. But it is time to put them behind us and face the future. Would you not agree? Sorry, Your Majesty, but I'll be putting nothing behind me until I've dealt with the cause of it all. Mordigan. Ah, yes. Mordigan. Doubtless Jasper bent the knee to that fiend. I see now that he is the source of the evil that afflicts our world. No doubt, he is out there even as we speak. Lying low, biding his time. 
But we have the luminary on our side. Now, you must claim the Sword of Light. The sacred power of Yggdrasil is your birthright. Take it. It is long past time. It is beautiful, magnificent. May I take a closer look? Uh. Ah! What, what was that? Now that we have the sword, let us return to Heliodor. We must celebrate your triumph. Wait, you're inviting us back to the castle. But of course, Lord Robert. You are the defenders of Yggdrasil, the unmaskers of the traitor Jasper. Your great deeds deserve recognition. Well, Luminary, I trust that you will take me up on my invitation. I have wronged you. But in time, I will make amends. I swear it. We will go ahead and begin the preparations. We look forward to welcoming you in Heliodor.
luminary. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you in the manner you deserve at last. To think I once thought ill of you, saw you as a harbinger of calamity, called you unconscionable things. You are truly a Jasper cast a most malign shadow. I owe you a great deal. You have revealed the traitor in our midst and returned my daughter to me. As a small token of my appreciation, I have arranged for some special visitors. Hendrik, if you would. Yes, sir. about you. I heard all these horrible stories. I, I thought you, you might be. Right after you left the village, this horrible man called Jasper came with all these soldiers. I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He ordered us all to gather in the middle of the village and then, then he told his men to kill us all. But Sir Hendrik came to the rescue. He showed up just in the nick of time and told Jasper to let us live. They still locked us up in the castle, but at least we were safe. And then they came and told us you weren't a baddie after all and let us go. We've been through an awful lot, love. But from what I hear, so have you. I'm proud of you. And so is your granddad, I'm sure. <laughs> Now, let us begin the festivities at last. A banquet worthy of our saviour awaits. From this day forth, none shall doubt the luminary. He shall be honoured, celebrated, adored.
is this? Why can I not touch the sword? Surely it cannot be. The cursed luminary. Give it to me. Give me the sword of light. It belongs to me. What's going on in here? Princess, what is the meaning of this? I knew it! You're not my father! Look at you! You're a monster, not a man! Yeah, blight of you! I had a feeling in my waters that something wasn't quite right with you, Carnelian. So this whole thing was a sham? The banquet, the speeches... Wow, that's cold. So who are you? He disappeared. Oi, you! Stop skulking in the shadows! Come out and show your stupid face! Something tells me he won't have gone far. Quick, let's search the castle. you we've got you cornered now let the king go and show us your true form fiend <laughs> oh. 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 I have been enjoying Carnelian's hospitality since the day Dundrasil fell. <sighs> but the game ends here. I have wasted too much time already waiting for you to lead me to the Sword of Light. And since I was unable to steal it from you, it seems I must take it by force. Very well. Come to Mordigan like good little lambs and die. Mordigan, so it's you. I've waited years for this day to come. Not only Jasper, but His Majesty too. Your deception shall not go unpunished, devil. You have been a serviceable puppet over the years, Hendrik. But it is time you joined your wretched kinfolk in hell. My... You mean it was you? You who massacred my people? It was all you, wasn't it? The destruction of Dundrasil. The family's torn apart. You've stolen so much from so many, and now you're going to pay. I stand with you, Luminary. My loved ones, my countrymen, they must be avenged. I'm with you too. This is the guy who's had it in for you all this time, right? Let's show him who he's been messing with. What are you 
waiting for. Come, give me your power, that I may rule over this world unopposed.
Things are looking up. been dreaming. The, the last I remember is the attack on Dundras Hill. After that, all is black. <sighs> <gasps> Wait, that mark. The child, the luminary. But you were a mere Babe in arms when I last saw you. There is clearly much we need to discuss, but, but you must forgive me. I'm still feeling rather faint. <coughs> Father, you mustn't overexert yourself. Come on, let's get you to bed. I need to look after him. We'll meet here again tomorrow, all right? Oof. Those two are going to have a lot to catch up on, huh? A lot.
know the truth now. Hard as it was to swallow. The things I did while under the monster's spell are almost too terrible to contemplate. If not for you, this kingdom, no, this entire world would have been turned to ashes. All would have been lost to Mordigan. A true hero stands among us. Adria is eternally in your debt. You are a worthy heir to the legendary Erdwin. Truly, you are the luminary, our light, and our hope. You really did it, huh? What's the matter, Veronica? <laughs> I don't know. I just welled up all of a sudden. I'm just glad to be here with all of you, I suppose. <laughs> but where else would you be, you silly thing? You, you're right. <laughs> I'm being stupid. Sorry. Thank you. For everything. What's going on? I sense something awful, something truly, truly evil. But where is it coming from? What was it Mordigan said just before he died? Something about not being the only one who defied the flow of time, right? But what did he mean? Your Highness, please, you must come quickly. It's Erdwin's lantern. What? Uh. The balcony, upstairs, quickly. Never seen its like. Look over there. Erdwin's lantern. It's falling.
Edwin's lantern has fallen. I fear this bodes ill for us all. I dare make this request of no other luminary. I must ask that you investigate. The great star fell to earth in the celestial sands. They can be seen from the Emerald Coast. That must be your first port of call. Sire, I would ask your leave to join this expedition. Hmm. I cannot atone for all that I have done. But perhaps in joining you, I might repay my debt at least in part. Luminary, I will be your sword, your shield, your unswerving companion. <laughs>